Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons, where in our previous episode, our adventurers uh, all hid in the bandits' home. They found a secret room where they found a ton of expensive <laughs> artifacts, <laughs> as well they found a trap door in that secret room going down to a secret bunker. Uh, they killed the bandits, took a lot of the priceless paintings, sculptures, miscellaneous stuff. Spoons. Spoons. Ar- artifacts. <laughs> uh, Blaze took the uh, musket that one of the bandits had fired. And Tony and started, or Aelrendal started to leave through the secret passageway and ran into a gelatinous cube. Uh, Farron turned 17 again. And then uh, Lazarus and Blaze were fighting upstairs. Also, what is Ryan doing during this whole time? <laughs> Listen, let's just pretend he's, he's still not hopping here. At the <laughs> yeah, so, What's going on? <laughs> so again, for this episode, Duncan wasn't able to join us, so I'm just having him be an NPC. He's not here. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> That's what that means. He's outside, just barely able to see through the window. Just because he's super short. <laughs> Dwarf. <laughs> <Has no plan. laughs> um, uh, so, who would like to go first for what they're doing? Well, I'm you're face to face with a cute. Okay. <laughs> we're going to keep this going. Keep the ball <laughs> rolling. Still, it's just still brawling, though. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to face step behind you as a bonus action <laughs> and then try and grapple you. <laughs> You're gonna grapple me? Yeah. Why? I'm gonna put you in a headlock. I'm gonna. Your face up does something too, right? It, it literally does one fire damage to him. No, but it ha- there's a... Uh, well, it does fire damage from where you left, not where you show up, right? No, I teleport to the location I can see, and then I explode with fire. Okay, oh. that's the only thing it does? Yeah. Okay, because I know some of the other Eldrins have, like, a frightened thing or something. Yeah, mine, I really explode on fire. Okay. All right, and I have to make a deck save when that happens, right? No, you just take my charisma mod and damage. Oh, I just take it? Yeah, it's really one damage, so don't worry about it. <laughs> right. But it adds up after a while. And then roll a strength check with advantage. Blaze, roll a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. Dexterity saving throw with disadvantage? Yep. Ooh, those are both horrible rows. Uh, four. I got two 19s. <laughs> yeah, so you're, uh, a, a Lazarus, you're easily able to hold him in a headlock. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna call out to Lovecraft. And I'm gonna be like, SICK HIM! Right. Lovecraft loves me. No, he doesn't. <laughs> loves me. You guys have completely established that you don't care about him. Lovecraft kind of looks at you, looks at Lazarus, looks at you, looks at Lazarus, and can't really decide what to do. He's gonna kill me! <laughs> Just bite his ankle or something! I'm going to. He start... wags his tail. Fine, I will. And I squeeze harder. <laughs> I, uh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can I do here? I'm just gonna slam my head back into his face. Yeah. I'm gonna headbutt it later. Like that. I'm just gonna knock my head back into your face. How tall are you? Uh, okay. Yeah, how tall are you? <laughs> As a, I don't know. As an abyssal wretch, I don't know. I didn't write down height. Uh, we have assumed I'm shorter. Yeah. I think you had said earlier that you're like one inch taller than Ryan. So Ryan's like, what, five feet? No, four feet. Four feet five or something. So I'm about five foot five. How tall are you? I'm five five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you're four foot six then, because Ryan it's is four foot five. I think. No, no, no. Oh, I'm an inch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're grappling me, right? You have your arms around my chest? So. Yeah. Not around your chest. I have you in a headlock. A headlock. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was in a headlock. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go, headlocks are illegal! And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and break free, I guess. You yeah. threw f- knives at him, dude. Yeah, well, he I fucking threw me into a wall, didn't he? Nuts I, I literally <laughs> punched you once. I didn't. You, throw you sucker into the wall. punched me. You picked me up and slammed me in a wall. You said that yourself. There was so. a big statue still there, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. You in the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, I'm gonna try and break free. Sure. Uh, roll a strength check against Zax. <sighs> I roll a two minus one. Yeah, so you're one. not able to get out. Let me go. Uh. 
in response, I'm going to kick out the back of his knee. <laughs> <laughs> See why I'm attacking back? <laughs> so, so then he'll uh, start kneeling, and I can get a better angle. Okay. Yeah, you're able to do that. I'm going to try and flip him overwards over my head. Okay, uh, roll an athletics check. Where's athletics? Here, uh, 12. You're not able to. Oh my fucking, are you serious? God damn it. Okay, um. I can have somebody get out of this shit. How long can you hold your breath? <laughs> I don't know. What's the normal breath holding? Constitution modifier in minutes? Yeah. Well, I was zero, so I thought the minimum was one minute. Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. minimum one minute. Minimum one minute? Okay. Uh. There's nothing I can do, really, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna die. try and choke him out for a minute. Take disengage okay. dash as well. Yes, bone. I'll die. <laughs> uh, and yeah. as you like go up oh. the ladder, you do see this happening. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep breaking free for a minute. Okay. I'm gonna try and break free for a minute. That's what I'm going for. So. Okay, I don't know and how many times you, I you're just holding this, Jack? Yeah, okay. I'm maybe just gonna try and choke him out for a minute. So this has been two rounds so far? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, roll again. Uh, seven. Fifteen. Nope. Again. Well, uh, nine. Sixteen. <laughs> Not twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Seven. Yes! <laughs> yeah, so... See, so that's... Yeah, so... For, it takes you a really long time. You're starting to have a very troubled time breathing Fuck yeah. and eventually you're able to squeeze your head down maybe push your hands up and get out of this headlock okay i'm going to can you i'm gonna book it into the library room so i'll let him do it can you also <laughs> breathe through your mouth hand or no uh i don't think so <laughs> i was gonna say like i mean it's just vocal cords actually no i should be able to breathe through that i was faking it the whole time the truth i could breathe just fine no but i'm gonna make it to the library room yeah okay uh you see farron pushing <laughs> the huge sphinx is it the sphinx statue you're pushing yeah. it's a huge sphinx statue towards the trapdoor farron lazarus is trying to kill me <laughs> Well, I have a plan. You're just a couple of feet from the door now. Oh. I mean, from the trap door. Uh, I'm going to push. Okay. As soon as he runs off, I'll brush myself off and go help push this case. <laughs> okay. Fine, uh, then. I'm just going to go loot the bodies. Whatever. So, as it starts to come in, and then you've got it pushed over the hole, and uh, it's just over the hole. It doesn't give in? Well, it's a huge sphinx statue. Do you have an axe? It's like five feet, and... five feet by six feet. No. <laughs> it's like metal. I'm going to break the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Why? How did they get in here? Damn. That's smart. With, like ropes and mechanics, like rolly things. You just built the house around it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to push it back out of the way then. Okay. Yeah. I was expecting it to fall in the hole. And did boom. you find anything in the tunnel? <laughs> um... Yeah, we found an exit. Arendelle's down there right now. He's probably just chilling out, waiting for us. Or he just left for a mall. You never know. <laughs> well, we should snag up what we can and follow him. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have all I need, so I'll meet you there. Okay. <laughs> We're going to pop in the hole. I'm gonna, okay, you said that there's like gauntlets and shit in here, right? Yeah. I'm going to investigate them, see if there's any like latent magical energies on them. Okay, uh... Roll yeah, and so investigation check, please. What's that? Investigation check, please. Uh, maybe you'll find the infinity. I just find it out. ironic that I got chewed out for killing people, but he's totally ready to rob them, yeah. <laughs> uh, investigation 16. Um, as you look through a series of, like, probably about seven pairs of gauntlets... The first five you look at just seem to be very old, or uh, you realize, you notice some names etched into them, and uh, you're not actually from Taltania, you're from the Feywild. Yes. 
So you don't actually recognize any of, any of these names. And then this last one, you do notice a something mystical about it. Okay. You could roll an inca- arcana check if you yeah. wanted, or you could put it on, or... I'm going to be a little bit smarter, and I'm not just going to slip the gauntlets on. You can uh, toss some blaze. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll roll an arcana, see if I can find anything, any info about it. Huh. Don't you wish you had four. someone with plus seven arcana? <laughs> yeah, that's a four. But that's yeah, my uh, business. You have no idea what this gauntlet could be. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you slip them on, you feel as if you're stronger, but you feel as if it took a lot in you to actually become stronger. Okay. I'm going to test it on the new Sphinx. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to try and fuck it. Toss it out of the way. Uh, so this give, these gauntlets give you a plus one in strength, but give you a minus one in con. Okay. Ooh, does that affect his health then? Uh, for from now on, it will. Right. It puts so me like, down to fourteen, so it literally doesn't t- change my yeah, modifier. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't change your modifier. Oh, okay, cool. It's only if you decide to keep them on, though. I I feel like Lazarus likes the feeling of power. Okay. What, so what does that put your strength at? Seventeen. Oh, so it didn't increase. It, I no, my modifier has changed. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> You're the most useless to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still keep them on. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you can... If you're gonna, like, keep them, you can just change that in, on your character sheet. Is there a name for them? Uh, just Gauntlets of the Strong. Gauntlets of the Strong. <laughs> but no con. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll follow uh, Farron through the hole after that. Okay. Strength is weakness. <laughs> and weakness is strength. <laughs> uh, so, Alan Rall, yeah. you see the gelatinous... <laughs> so you... Whoa, it's got a creepy voice. <laughs> <laughs> you see the gelatinous cube less than a foot in front of you. Nice. I like it. And I like it. <laughs> it's going to try to engulf you. Mm. Nice. I would do. It looks at you so with can a you sultry please make look. A dexterity same throw. Yeah, this would be easy. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, dirty twenty. Yeah, uh, it does not engulf you. Nice. Uh, so you can choose to either be pushed back for f- five feet back or to the side of the cube. Um, I'm gonna go five feet back. Okay. Um. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my. I'm going to put my longbow, actually. Okay. And as you look wow. at the scoop, no, you see a, a lot idea. of... Uh, a few s- I'm not gonna give you skulls ammo. and bones and He's a few old though. weapons or tire strappings in this cube. With a ranged weapon with a certain amount of feet, you get disadvantage. Well, he can back up. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. um, I get why he's doing it, so he doesn't have to hit with his sword and his sword gets swallowed up or something. No, I don't have my long sword either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So either my bow or my dagger. Just so. run away. Come back to us. Um. So, hmm. Wait, so did you say you went to the side or I back? Went, I went back. Okay. So I'm five feet away from him. Um. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack this dude. I'm gonna need to, actually, I'm gonna use my dagger. I'm gonna pull up okay. my destination dagger. I'm just gonna run up to him and just... <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go inside. <laughs> if you don't get inside out, dude. Just... <laughs> can't beat him, join him. Um, oh, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's any better plan. Yeah, I'm just not gonna... throwing your destination dagger into it. Not a good plan. It. I'm gonna oh. run up and stab. <laughs> yeah, into a gelatinous bean. This is gonna be good. How else do you feed him, man? I don't know. This is gonna be good, man. Yeah, so just roll to it. All right. <laughs> Go with your gut, man. Do you. He deserves to die. Be you. you go with your gut You're and stab gonna... him in the gut. Uh, 13. Yeah, you hit. Nice. Uh, so that's a 1d4. So why is there a fucking gelatinous cube in this <laughs> town? This is all hidden, so it's like an area that's often a bit of brush and bushes. So you would assume that it's just to keep this area protected. 
I'll keep the secret door protected. Uh, nope. So six, six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's still alive. <laughs> You do, gonna, you do have extra attack. Yeah, I know. I'm going to attack him again. <laughs> <laughs> Stab. <laughs> All right. You deserve to die. Uh, that's, that's an eight. Ufa hits. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Stratus cubes have a super low armor cost. Six. Wow. Four. So ten altogether? Yeah. You know, you're nice. probably stabbing this thing, and you're watching as like its gelatin comes back. And you yeah, does it doesn't look like it's doing like anything. A... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And as a yummy bonus action, I'm gonna use uh, regeneration and use one of my hit die to heal myself. Okay, do it. One d ten. Big money. Big money. Oof. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you win some, you lose most, my right, boy. Isn't it 1d10 plus your fighting level? Mm, I might be wrong about that, but. No, it, 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 I don't know. It, so he's looking at the revenant and it says you. Yeah, which is a bonus action, you may you spend a hit die to recover. That's uh, all it says, so I uh, don't know. Yeah, never mind. I wish maybe, you know, maybe it should be. We could, we could say that. <laughs> too late. That's too bad, dude. Yeah, you know. Watch it, that's gonna save my life. He's gonna this, <laughs> That one, yeah. This cube's gonna kill me, and then I'm gonna have one hit point left. Uh, it's gonna. try to engulf you again. So just roll another saving throw, please. At X Dexterity. Right. Don't fail this, you're gonna suffocate. I don't think I can. If you <laughs> engulf, you will. No, but can revenants suffocate? I don't know. Do you require air, food, or water to breathe? Or to, to live? I, mean, <laughs> I don't require substance. I require food to breathe. Because you are technically an undead, yeah? If if he doesn't, yeah. then he's just going to be floating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're an undead, <laughs> I think those two items well, do, still like, take damage, damage. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they, do. Um, they do damage every time. Every round or something. Uh, eight. It's like crushing damage. Eight? Yeah. You are engulfed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no one will know <laughs> until we get down there. Maybe we just don't go down there. <laughs> That's my thinking because I'm looting a body. <laughs> you guys are making. Uh, so the cube yeah, enters your money. space, and you'll take. Uh, yeah, nine acid damage. Okay. Um. And yeah. You can no longer breathe and are restrained. Okay. Yeah. I don't require air, food, drink, or sleep. So. Okay. So you're just restrained. So <laughs> <this is huge. laughs> just like. <laughs> and I gain nine. Sorry. Yeah. Nine damage. Oh boy. <laughs> He's gonna be dead before we get there. It's already dead. Uh. <laughs> so. Your speed is zero. You can't benefit from any bonus to your speed. Uh, attack rolls against you have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. And you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. No matter. Uh, so what do you want to do on your turn? Um, am I able to... So I'm not able to like get my arm outside of it. Like I'm no. totally engulfed. Um, am I able to throw anything out of the... No, no, you're not just you. You're literally restrained. You can't can do I, shit. Can I stab him? I'm trying to stab him? Yeah, you just have this disadvantage on attack rolls. That's fine. <laughs> I got enough. <laughs> you're just in there, like shaking your arm around. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. What if I kill this guy, dude? I'm gonna. I'm gonna stab him, man. Oh, you might actually kill him from the inside out. <laughs> All right. So let's roll, baby. Uh, Eighteen. <clears throat> uh, Eighteen and seventeen. So seventeen. Yeah, so definitely hits. Yeah. Fuck this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Four. Okay. <laughs> oh and now I'm gonna attack him again. <laughs> my, my second attack. Uh, so. Oh, that was uh, a barb. You, huh? you can also try to escape. Oh, so. Okay. Um. No matter. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll re-roll that one. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a five. 
yeah. The, it yeah, misses. Five. Okay. Um, Damn. With my bonus action, I'm going to spend a hit die to heal myself. <laughs> Oh dear. Dude, let there be health. <laughs> That's a five. All right. Nice. So this is happening pretty much when you guys are still fighting. Okay. Okay, so this is me still. All right. Okay. So you would be still pushing the statue at this point. Neat. And then for its turn, you'll, since you're still restrained and engulfed, you'll just take damage. You're Bring going it. to die. They'll take 23 damage. <laughs> That's what he was just at. That's what I was just at. <laughs> 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 Fucking all the clanging that oh, gave. Oh my god, that scared You're me. You're gonna die! No matter. He's like, okay, now he's just gonna crush you. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> Alright, is it my turn again? Yeah. Yo, um, am, am I able to tell how badly damaged this is? It doesn't <laughs> seem badly damaged at all. Probably looks untouched. <laughs> um, what do I have to do to try to escape? Like, what does that entail? Uh, you need to take an action to make a DC DC twelve strength check. If, oh you yeah, that's your thing, that. man. Yeah. Well, you, you have disadvantage, doesn't you? Yep. Oh, okay, but still, that's your thing. It's your thing, man. Strength it up. All you right. can do it. Uh, I will do that. I'm gonna try I to believe. escape. Uh, so disadvantage and then um, saving throw strength. Yep. Easy peasy. Pumpkin pie. Is that a seven? Yeah. Or it's just a uh, strength check, not a saving throw. Oh. Oh. So that's a ten, and then disadvantage. Yeah. You already failed. <laughs> you already failed. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, so no. I just, I just wanted to roll again. Um, so for my second action, uh, or is it just it's a second... Is it just a second attack? Sorry, or is it a second action? I don't remember for fighter. Attack. Action surge action. is another action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... Hmm, what's the play here? You do have magic time. items. Maybe something can help, I don't know. I don't actually know what you have. I'll just... Oh, um... You have a really cool black uh, cloak. <laughs> yeah. Big marbles. Oh. <laughs> I can... Um, do can it. Those. Can I... Hmm... I don't know what to do. Um, can I? Am I able to? Because my cloak doesn't make cloak have like feather fall. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, like, doesn't like slow fall. die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I would just try. And to you can't free. grab. I'm gonna try to restrain. Yeah, I'm gonna try to escape again. You so, should be able to make it. You have really good strength. So strength. You're gonna get crushed like a. <laughs> Uh, that's a left. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're still in golf. For my bonus action, I'm gonna heal myself because <laughs> my hit die. The thing rolls sixty-six damage. Oh my all god! Right. Here we go, baby. He you're rolls healing all literally. Ones. Yeah, six health. <laughs> <laughs> my guy. He just gonna just clang all those fucking dice in there. My again. guy. Oh no. Yeah. He's taking my dice. Oh, he's taking to- Oh my god. He's just rolling so since ones. you're still un- un- engulfed, they'll- Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Mike's my <spiked> hard. <laughs> oh, dude, nah. you're so dead. Dude, there's no way. Oh, no, you're dead. Nah. You're fucking <laughs> you take 20 damage. Good thing I had 11. <laughs> Yo. No. <laughs> you gotta get some unconscious. You're gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, do I find anything on the body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> so this is the point where the fighting had ended and you had tried to push the statue down. Um, You'll be okay, buddy. Yeah, so I'll start with you, Farron. So <laughs> what what were you doing? At- After no? I pushed the statue yeah. out, I was going to go check on Arendelle. I okay. went back in the tunnel to... Over there. Were you trying to rough or just go, <laughs> just walk? He's well, I don't know that he's yeah. in any trouble, yeah. so yeah, I'm just walking okay. casually. <laughs> uh, back to an enjoy your life, man. You're 17. You're so young. <laughs> How far behind him would I be? Because like he jumped in, and then I was looking at the gauntlets, and then I followed him. Uh, yeah, he'd be pretty close, I think. Okay. Uh, so you were looking on the body. 
Yeah, the bodies. So it's gonna loot the bodies. Yeah, so on the bodies we found about 20 gold on one and then 10 gold on the other. Nice, 30 gold, baby. Oh, I still wanna check out these chests. Oh, yeah. There's still those chests upstairs. Yeah. And then... You like didn't I, tell me about those, did you? No, you did tell me about them. I don't think I did. I thought you did. Oh, no, you just showed me the swords that you took. I showed you the swords and I showed you the picture of uh, Afiota it was. Picture of the bandits. Yeah. Okay, well then, I don't know about those. But Okay, so 30 gold. Nice. I meant 90 gold. Uh, you also find a set of keys, Do which I you find? assume would be for the house or for the rooms themselves. Okay. Do I find any ammo for this new gun? <laughs> Yeah, you do. You find uh, six, seven things of ammo. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any danger, and I'm kind of pissed off at uh, Lazarus, so I'm not following him. I'm okay. just going to go upstairs and we look around. Okay. I'm going to explore the house. Okay, uh, I'll go back to you guys. So... Um, as you walk through this hallway, you don't actually hear any noise of, from Elendal. Uh, roll a perception check, though. It's okay, you got three chances to live. Six. You got six? If I die, I just come back. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what this is. But it's a different body. Yeah, it's a three. Yeah. Three? Four. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you, you don't hear any noise of anything in particular. Um, oh, wow. Tony, can you roll a death saving throw, please? Yes, sir. Uh, you'll be fine. It's okay, you'll pass. Hey, Farron, are you shorter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Oh, no. It's a seven. Okay, that's one fail. Are you... Nice. Did you change your hands? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got found these gauntlets back in the room. Oh, they're nice. Makes me feel strong. Well, you... That's good. <laughs> Feeling strong is good. I don't feel as strong anymore, but I do feel like I have a bit more time. <laughs> I guess time is good. It is good, yeah. Time is money, which means I have more money. <laughs> yeah. Life is short, and now I got more of it. Yeah. I can do some things. So you guys walk further down take... the hall, and... I can lose my virginity again. <laughs> <laughs> And again, you see that, uh, you see up ahead the door is open. You don't see Aelrondal anywhere. You don't see his weapons or anything like that anywhere. Uh, all you can see ahead of you is the plants that are obscuring the door. Hmm. You think Aelrondal ran off the mall? You know, it's totally <clears throat> very possible that he did. Uh, but, I mean, I guess we just gotta go through the bush. Maybe he's just sleeping over there waiting for us. Very doubtful, though, he speaks about finding Maul all the time. Nah, he should be fine. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have a look. Oh, we'll walk forward. Okay, so you get through the door. Can you roll one more death saving throw, please? Sure can do, buddy. Success. <sighs> very goodness. good, very nice, very nice. It's a success. Good. Yeah. 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 You didn't yeah. say anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's, very, I said it's very nice. Okay. It's good. Can the two of you roll a wisdom saving throw? Wisdom? Trolling this cube to brain damage now? It's dope. 16. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Okay. Ah, six! <laughs> okay, so what's the walk in order? Like, are you walking in front or are you walking side by side? How? I big is the pathway? The pathway is about five feet across. Okay. And the door is about three feet across. I just assume we're walking somewhat side by side. Yeah. It might just been a little bit ahead. Okay, but... I think I would have went first. No, I think I would have went first. No, I don't care. <laughs> we were walking side by side. They so did the classic, you go first, no, you go first, and then they both <laughs> tried to go through at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I need a decision on, on who was going first. Then. Yeah, I'll go first. Yeah, okay. Be last, yeah. So, I'm younger. So. As you walk through the <laughs> bushes, <laughs> like, after the door, about a foot in front of you, you see a gelatinous cube, and you just stop, and you see someone in there. <laughs> That's someone. Oh, oh shit. And he's not moving at all. Okay. Well, 
would I see and then he would still wouldn't be able to see because he's behind me? Yeah, he's behind you, so he oh, actually like you, 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 you. <laughs> uh, just roll a dexterity save hey, with, fuck. With, <laughs> with advantage. Why are you um, stop? Thirteen and a eight. Uh you stumble forward just like a step, but you're not it just puts you that much closer to the gelatinous cube. Fuck. <laughs> um what? Walk forward. And I already used my face step. I'm like, stop! <laughs> There's a cube! <laughs> I gotta look over. Uh, of the two of you, roll initiative with the gelatinous cube. And Tony, can you actually roll in two? Just sure. so I know when you have so to make it a save. you just die a little. I have to die, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Guess I'll die. Man, Four. I love the decor up here. Yeah. Four, it's wonderful framing on the well. art and nice. the carpentry is magnificent. We definitely should go first, just in case <laughs> something happens. Oh, uh, what did you roll? Nine. Right? Nine. I'm ready to fuck this thing up. <laughs> I'm 17 again, man. I'm happy. I love that. You could say he's no longer feeling 22. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, I don't know about you, but that joke was very bad. The All our jokes are bad. <laughs> uh, I'll go back. You. I'll go back to Blaze. So you're walking up these steps, or are you going? You're going upstairs, right? Yeah, I'm okay. explore downstairs. I'm gonna go yep. upstairs now. Yep. Uh, you see multiple doors. I think there are three on the left and one at the very end. Okay. Um, I tell Lovecraft to just look around, and I'm feeling kind of angry, so I'm gonna kick open each door as I go by. Just kick, kick them open because uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get rid of my rage right now. Roll a strength check, please. Oh, you don't need to do that. Just <laughs> 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 door. It's kind of just rude, but that's fine. Oh, oh, oh wait. Not twenty. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's Natural fine. 20? Yeah, so this door was locked, and you take the perfect point on the door that actually <laughs> breaks the lock and just swings wide Get open, me. and the door now back on the other side actually makes a dent into the wall. Good. I stomp in. I look around. You see anything? <laughs> uh, you see that this is a bedroom. There are more paintings or tapestries on the walls. There's a chest at the foot of a bed. There's a big, uh, nice-looking mahogany desk. And there's more notes and stuff like that on it. These are more stolen tapestries and stuff? Uh, you would assume so. My rage intensifies. I go to the chest. <laughs> These fuckers better have something cool. I'll kick it open. <laughs> I try to open it. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. Um, I, uh, do I have any lockpicks? I think I have lockpicks. No, I, that's right. <laughs> I'm supposed to buy those. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna try and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's made of wood, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to flurry blows it. I'm going to smash through the wood. Okay. Uh, would I roll the hit or just damage? Just to have Roll to hit. Okay. Oh, well, if it's too hard, then it won't do any damage to it. That's why you're rolling to hit. Okay. 19 plus, what do I add? My strength? Yep. Okay, so 18. Yeah, so you're a- easily able to break this open and okay, smash this to pieces. Okay, sick. Uh, what's inside? Inside, you find six flying snakes. <laughs> <laughs> you find a nice hat. <clears throat> um, to add to my collection. Inside, you, uh, you find a uh, piece of a male shirt that seems to be really, like, perfectly created. It's not mithril, but it seems to be some kind of chain mail shirt. Oh, is there magic on it? Roll an investigation check. Investigation or, or arcana. arcana? I think both are the same for me. Hell yeah. No, one's plus seven, one's plus four. Okay. Uh, 18. Uh, you do realize there there's some magic imbued in this. Okay, I'm gonna slip that in the bag holding. Anything else, or is it just a shirt? Uh, you find a few gems of, of different kinds, so some small rubies, sapphires. Uh, you don't find any diamonds. Uh, what's the kind? Uh, and a little bit of jewelry. Okay, uh, I'll take all of that. Okay. What's the price? Overall, it would probably be around a thousand, uh, 700 gold pieces worth. Okay. Uh, and I'll angrily... There's nothing else? Nope. 
I'll angrily make my way to the next room. Okay. <laughs> Stomping along the way. Okay. Petting Lovecraft. Like, <laughs> trying to, uh, trying to ease myself. Okay. Uh, I'll go back to you guys. Awesome. Uh, so, Alendral, you're first. Or, uh, Lazarus, you're first. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Fuck him up, buddy. Um, I'm gonna use a bonus action, put, uh, Hunter's Mark on the cube. Nice. And then I'll pull out two short swords and multi attack. Okay. That's in that one. Ooh, no. Ooh, you are screwed. Man, and that's a quit. 10. <laughs> We're not a 10 hits. Like this. Yay. So, what's that? How is it that this cube is just. We're all gonna get engulfed and die. <laughs> Engulf the entire village and hound and <laughs> This is the new evil <laughs> four. Four? Go Wait, up. Oh, plus my hunter's mark. Which was my D four? A D six. Six, six well. yeah. So uh, another three. Okay. And then one more, just because you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, one more because you can. Please. Uh so that's your trick hacks and bonus action, so Yeah, that's uh, all I can do. Oh, a- a- or, oh, I'm also going to move 10 feet away. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, Aelrindal. Yes. Can you roll a death saving throw, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> you die. <laughs> yeah. It's a success. It's a, it's a success. Yeah. Baby. You will not die. You're too strong to die. Uh, well, I died once. <laughs> You'll not die. If he gets three saves, though, you'll be stable and then just take more damage. Yeah, That's no. True, you're gonna... Yeah, we have to... I can. I still have hit die to heal. No, I you're unconscious get... still. Yeah. You're just you're stable. Still yeah. Oh, just yeah, stable. That's right. Yeah. So I'm better heal me through the. Cube. Uh, well, Ryan's still looking through the window. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're still in the cube on the jazz cube, turn you'll take dam- more damage, and that's uh, one fail. No. No, no. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, that's no. right. Yeah, you can take recurring damage. That's yeah. even in the monster mode, I think it says. Yeah. Gust of wind him out of the cube. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely try. <laughs> How large is this cube? They're pretty big. Uh, like, they swallow people and shields yeah. and everything. It's, l- it's large. <laughs> Like, what are we talking here? So, probably like <laughs> 7 feet by 7 feet? Large is 10 by 10. 10 by 10? Okay. Yeah. I like the 7 one better. Mm, uh oh, spaghetti. So, Farron. Mm, well, I don't know if this would work. With gust of wind, each creature that starts in the line must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away. So. I really if you can't in roll, line, he automatically so fails. I, yeah. <laughs> but so is the thing, so they would just go together. <laughs> but if the thing succeeds and yeah. you fail, you go... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Devil's... Okay. Devil's advocate here. He cannot move at all, and he's inside the thing. If the thing moves, he would just move with it inside. Devil's advocate. That's yeah, we can out. do it the fun yeah, way. But it, if the gelatinous right. cube succeeds and doesn't move... He still fails and he would but move. But does the wind even get wind him inside? Go through the cube? I don't think I don't think it would. I think it would. Sorry, I'm just saying lots of spiz- It's six feet long. I, ten I like the wide. idea, but I don't think it would go through the cube. Mm, you're gonna cube. die, Tony. Alright, that's it. Lightning bolt. Yeah. Why are you lightning bolting <laughs> it? <laughs> what? Light it on fire. <laughs> I'm going to... Don't you have any kind of teleportation spell to use on it? Nope. Slapping a lightning bolt. Char- charm the cube. <laughs> Time to spit me out. He, they're charmless. He can't charm the cube. That's right. I'm also charmless. Well, you don't know but... that. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 17 cube. again, so I lost some <laughs> um... I'm 17. My boyish charms will impress anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Please sleep with me. <laughs> but no, that's kind of the best thing I got here. So I'm going to slap lightning bolt. <laughs> Is that a cantrip or spell? It's a third level spell. I wish <laughs> Lightning Bolt was a cantrip. Please roll a d20 for me. Oh! oh. <laughs> is it, oh, it going to course through his body and then like... Oh, you'll be it? fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, Alright, uh, one, two... He's not looking too good. 
I need to borrow these. Yeah. Three, four, this five. is giving me crippling anxiety. Um, yeah, but I mean, if you take damage, there's only one six, six, death saving throw. Seven. Fail. It's only one fail. Eight. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Damn it, we bought this nice <laughs> blanket on top of the table to stifle the noise. Yeah, that's such a good. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Plus 12. Yes. I don't do math well, so I'm going to... 15 plus 12, what is that? I don't know, man. I'm using my calculator. 30 minus 8 is... It's 20. 15 plus 12 is 27. Yeah, yeah. plus 27. <laughs> plus 3, 30, 34. Yeah. 34? <laughs> okay. Sweet. That's dope. It's like blast a delicious lightning... Cook a dewy for dinner. Holla. Would Tony take damage? No. I don't know. What does it say in the monster manual? Nuh-uh. No way. Not possible. I'm impervious to... Uh, Electric damage. That's true. I think anything in it takes. I don't know actually. Mm-mm. I have no idea. Because it takes like the acid damage, but like he's inside, so he wouldn't take exterior damage. Yeah, creatures in sub cube can be seen, but have total cover. It has to yeah. make a dexterity saving throw, though. The cube. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you have total cover, it means they can't eat. 15, and it's gotta be. 15 minus 4, so 11. <laughs> I think he rails. So 11? Yeah, it fails. fails. <laughs> Actually, total cover just increases your <coughs> AC, does it not? Takes a total of 34 damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, uh, total cover just increases your AC. It doesn't give you immunity on... No, yeah. It, it, if you have total... No, if you have total cover, you can't. It doesn't... Well, you, you yeah, know, yeah, the boy's about to go and hit up Snatch uh, again. A target with total cover... <laughs> A, tar- a target with total cover cannot be targeted directly by an attack or a spell, yeah. although some spells can reach such a target by including it in an area of effect. A target has total cover if it's completely concealed by an obstacle. There's no so, area of effect. Okay. It's really, <laughs> it's really just a line of it's lightning. It's just a line yeah, of no, lightning. No, that's good. I'm just saying, like, for Nick, like if you ever have total cover, if it's an AoE spell, you still take damage. If I used Acid Splash, you would have been screwed. Oh, yeah. Sorry! I'm... I like this part. I like the mechanics. So you see a bolt of lightning just come down from the sky, and it kind of... The ceiling. <laughs> it disintegrates the part of the cube that it hits. They call so it you see, Lord. like, you see a line going through like this, through the cube, and all of that is just gone from it. It's like anime, inside. like the... <laughs> and then, like, the piece slowly just, like... <laughs> and then yeah, just like, like seconds after. That's so cool. And it looks quite badly damaged. Good job. Okay. It's the only time I can use it. <laughs> no, lightning makes me come alive like Frankenstein's monster. Oh yeah, maybe it acts like an ECG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it is now the Jadis Cube's turn. Mm-mm. You'll take damage from this. No, I won't. Oh, you're dead. I don't want it. Or wait, uh, first it... Or, yeah, the start of the turn. So. Uh, 23 damage. Okay. And then it'll try to... Uh, you're... 10 feet away, right? How far away would you be? I Did... would be like a foot behind where he was originally. Okay. So he'd be like 2, 3 feet away. Yeah. So it's going to try to engulf Five. you. Impossible. <laughs> Cannot be done. Uh, please make a dexterity save and throw. Oh, oh, that's like what I put none of my points into. <laughs> Does uh, After that, from that first hit when he maybe got unconscious, yeah. is that... The, does that damage carry over still? So like he hit me now. So like it's like if it out if it if his damage out goes over my max hit points, then I'm dead. Right? Yeah. But like, yeah. does that from that first hit when I become unconscious, does that stuff carry over? I think so. Okay, because I had like five, and he did what? Like twenty six. Or twenty three. Twenty three. You'd yeah. be at minus thirty two because uh, twenty three. I'm reading it you right had now. Nine damage carrying over. Damage at zero hit points. If you take any damage while you have zero hit points, you suffer a death saving throw failure. If the damage is from a critical hit, you suffer two failures. If the damage equals or exceeds your hit point maximum, you suffer instant death. So you just take a... You take a failure. Fail. Yeah, because the damage itself has to equal your max, 45. Yeah, he has to do 45 damage in one hit. So you Uh, just take... And it wasn't a crit, right? So so then you just take... uh, Okay. (laughs) 13 is what I got. You need it to be 12. <laughs> I'm too or strong. Actually, is it always a critical hit? <laughs> because I'm 17 again. Yeah. All that flexibility. You're, you're more nimble. <laughs> yeah, so you're just barely able to dodge out the way that went to engulf you. <laughs> yeah. Or is it always a critical hit when you're moving? Never mind. 
I don't, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to get you killed if I read too many of the rules. <laughs> we don't have to abide by the rules. It doesn't say it's a critical hit, but it says it just takes 66 acid damage. Yeah. It's normal pod attack. It's 3d6. Okay, no, that's fine. I was just double checking because he was he's yeah. me prone, so I wasn't yeah. sure. Uh, I'll go back to Blaze. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, uh, how many rooms are there to explore? There, I think there are three rooms on the right side and one at the far back. Okay, so I've explored one, so three to go. Yeah, nice. I'll go to the next room. Okay, uh, you check the door and it's locked. Okay, um, I guess I try to knock it down again. Okay, what is this? Mines of Fandalver? I see a door and I kick it down. That was a oh, great yeah, I forgot thing. about that. <laughs> Let's make more inside jokes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't really have anything to get through there except, like, brute strength, so... Uh, I'll try and kick it down again. Uh, 14. Um... Yeah, sure, you're able to break... Uh... <laughs> you kick the door, and the lock doesn't break or anything, but you do kick a hole through the door. <laughs> okay, I'll just reach the hole and unlock okay. the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I find in this room? Oh yeah, you have keys, so you're able to unlock the. Oh yeah, keys. yeah, he's not, he's not using the keys. Yeah. Just let him do it. I forgot I had those fucking things. Uh, I'll yeah. roll an intelligence check. Let's see, let's see if I have those. If you're buttons. pissed off, you're not gonna angrily unlock the door. I rolled at thirteen. Yeah, I know I have the keys. Okay, I think that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm still pissed though, so yeah. But I kick up the door and I open it. What do I? Oh, what do I find? So mad. Uh, this is another just bedroom. So it's this room. similar in nature to the last room you saw. There aren't there are more tapestries in this room than pictures or mm -hmm. uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. So tapestries on the walls. Uh, there's again a bed. There's a chest in front of the bed. There's a desk on the opposite side of the room. There's a small closet in this room as well. Okay. Uh, can I see if one of the keys unlocks the chest? Yeah, sure. Uh, after a few a few keys, it does open. Okay, cool. I'm starting to deep breaths, just like my 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 master taught me. We must control our emotions. Uh, I'm gonna open the chest. Okay. Uh, inside you find a coat, and it's a coat that is made from unicorn fur. Ooh, unicorn coat. Okay. Do I sense any magical presence from this? Uh. I have to check what kind of magic unicorns have, because maybe. Chaotic. <laughs> I think they're true neutral creatures. Yeah, I don't think they're lawful they're good. good. I can't remember. I think they're lawful good. Are they lawful good? Yeah. They follow. I know that killing them is a curse. Yes. Yeah. But wearing their dead skin <laughs> isn't, so. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> uh, Roland, uh, you do notice some magic coming from it? Oh, that's not good. But I have plus seven, so 16. 16. Uh, you do know that there are some, there is some magic in unicorns. You're not exactly sure what this coat would be since it's just their fur, I guess. Okay. Or their skin, maybe. I'll I don't know. bunch it up and I'll put it in the bag holding Hi, for later. Yeah, thanks for the better word for it. Yeah, I'll bunch it up, put it in the bag holding for later. Okay. And then the desk? Or was there more in the chest? Uh, there were also a pair of boots in the chest. A pair of boots? What do they look boots like? Were made for uh, that's what they got. They're boots that actually have. Uh, you notice that on the each of the outside of the boots, there's a ween pattern engraved in the boot. Okay, I'll I'll put those on. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll put those on, and then I'll make more to the desk. Okay. Uh, you feel a lot lighter right now. Do I? As you put these on, can I roll an arcana okay, check? Yeah, nine. <laughs> You're not sure exactly what these are. I'll save them for later. Yeah. yeah. But I'll put those on and I'll check the desk. Okay. Uh, in this desk, you do see a notebook as well as some notes and a map is on this desk. I'll pocket those. Okay. I won't read them right now. A little busy, but I'll pocket yeah. them. And then... Deep breath. <sighs> Just relax, please. <laughs> relax, please. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And I'll make my way to the next room. Okay. I'll go back to everyone fighting. Yeah. Yo, going upstairs was the best decision. Get so much cool shit. 
Yeah, you so, just chill, glad Tony, you like. Tony, please roll one more death save for me. Um, or actually, it's Zach's first. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> you have time okay. to breathe. He is, oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is it. <laughs> this rolled the final countdown, man. This is the final countdown. Final countdown. Final countdown. I mean, the good news is you'll just come out of a grave somewhere. Yeah, I'll just spawn as another person. Do you retain memories and stuff when you die? You'll uh, just respond as one of the bandits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We go up with a snake remnant. Um, I believe I do because the remnant just keeps coming back until yeah. they kill the, like their. Uh... Yeah, but you remember your hatred for that person. Okay. I don't know if you remember everything else. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look. So I'm going to use my bonus action to add Slayer's Prey on the gelatinous cube. This is an extra d6 on top of. Hunter's you can prey. also try to pull him out if you wanted. Nope. It's just a strength check. No, DC 12. Don't risk it, because then your arms are in there. I only two people in a cube. I'm only 17. It's badly damaged, just take, kill it! You will take some damage, though. Since you're it's badly damaged, just kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, but how badly damaged? Can I do that much damage in my two attacks? You get a bunch of fucking bonuses to your attacks now. You have Hunter's Mark and Slayer's Break. Yeah. Well, right now he's on the brink of whether he's gonna live or not. <laughs> See his, you see his dead, cold, pale face grow slightly more dead and more cold so and more pale. Either you make your move and you kill it and he's fine, or you make your move and you don't and he dies. Yeah, it's like I have to kill it this turn or I have to try and bring him out. Yeah. And he still has a death save. And then all he has is to risk his last death save to find out if he's going to make it or not. Which he will, he'll make it. I don't see it. He's going to die. I don't see him. I really don't. Well, it's funny, if he makes it, he just starts all over again, so... <laughs> I'm going to try pulling him out. Okay. That's the play, I think. No. <laughs> so, as you reach in, you do take 3d6 acid damage. <laughs> uh, so, that is just 9 damage. Okay. Oh, you're dead for. No matter. Amazing grace. How sweet <laughs> the sound. <laughs> what do I have to be? Uh, 12. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Just yeah. a check. Uh, strength check. That's easy stuff. Easy piece. Oof. <laughs> that's a nine. <laughs> oh, Tony, you're dead. <laughs> no, I can do it. <laughs> Would that count? Count as my whole action? Count as one action? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I really can't do anything else. Okay. <laughs> Watch, Tony's gonna die and then he's gonna get engulfed. Uh, are you just like reaching back out? Yeah, okay. Seeing that I can't get a good grip on him, I'll back off. Okay, feet. Tony, please <laughs> roll boys. a death saving throw. You know, first cross for our I, boy. I ain't even worried. Oh, I ain't even worried. All right, I need to stand up, buddy. I am not worried. Uh. I'm no! Oh! Wait, is, that's an eight. That's an eight. Yeah, it's dead. An eight. Uh, well, it's like kind of crooked. That's an eight. eight. Come on, buddy. Uh, it's a. Uh, that is an eight. Mm-hmm. That is clearly on eight. Yeah. That's, dude, that's so such an eight. You're you're dead. Out you're of dead. everyone to die, this is the best case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> well, for one's gonna go, slide. we better all go. Suicide pact. <laughs> Everyone jump in the cube. <laughs> <laughs> so your Fuck. senses begin to fade and fade and fade. You what feel nothing on you. You begin to see darkness. You open your eyes. Or uh, how long does it take for Re- Revenant to come back? It does it day, take a day? I think. Okay. Um, Yo, does he go back to snitch? <laughs> <laughs> that is literally where I'm gonna go. <laughs> Come back. It's coming other, back. Yeah. And then I come back as some other bloke. Goes up there. He's like, "Oh, you again." Every time he dies, he's just renewing his snitch subscription. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh, That's thirty days. <laughs> thirty day free trial has expired. <laughs> yeah, I return as a revenant twenty four hours later. Uh, what does it say when I die? Uh, if you die, you return to life wherever you die 24 hours later. If your body was destroyed, you return in another nearby dead body, typically is this, within one mile. Is he just so, tortured in this cube? Um, <laughs> this body immediately transforms to resemble your original appearance. Oh, cool. Your equipment does not 
uh, accompany you when you return to life in a new body. Okay, but so, you, but is my is my body gonna be destroyed though? But I mean, if you no. guys kill the cube, it should be fine. Time. Then it should be okay. Because you do take like erosion. So if we weren't there, you would just slow. My body face. looks so fucking gross by the end of this. Yeah. Campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if we take our his body with us, will he? Uh, no, he responds where he died. Yeah. yeah, so if we take his body with us, he's not going to respond in his body. No, he'll respond in so. the nearest corpse, I think. Yeah. Which is going to be in the house. Yeah, yeah. one of the bandits. <laughs> oh, we can make him a bandit. <laughs> well, my body is going to transform. Like, I'm yeah. going to turn back to how I look. Yeah, but we'll have all your shit. We'll take my shit. <laughs> well, if he comes back, we'll just give him all his stuff back. Maybe. Well, no, we will. Actually, no. But it says if you die, you, you will return know. life to wherever you died. Like, I mean, like, wouldn't that, like, Mean I would return to my body wherever it was. No, you would return to where you died and yeah. to the nearest corpse. Damn. Since your body is no oh. longer located there, you Fucking have to leave me. The Gelatinous Cubes corpse. Oh god. <laughs> Tony's been saying he wants to play a monster. Well, now you get to be a fucking cube. <laughs> a fucking slime dude. I'm gonna literally turn into Gooigi. But we. <laughs> <laughs> but we know like his revenant stuff. Yeah. We? Yeah. So we would know not Hopefully. to move his body. Ah, he'll be back. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll point, bury point. you so no one takes your body. <laughs> Put me in a tomb. That's man. actually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Just lightly under the ground. No one will know. Just, uh... And then you'll scare the crap out of some kid walking <laughs> out. The important... <laughs> just, let's just kill the just, fucking uh, cube. <laughs> just put me in a tomb and I'll be back three days later. <laughs> <laughs> Hot joke. So you Sing open your eyes and then you see light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't see any actual buildings or anything or any other people. All you see is light and whiteness going on forever. Am I laying down or is it just like I'm? Uh, as you look down, you see that you are now standing up. Oh. I can't but you can't actually actually tell which way is up. So maybe you are <laughs> lying on your back. Oh, okay. Um, that's you don't whack. really feel any pressure or anything. In a void. This is whack. Um, <laughs> where's the nearest tavern? <laughs> um, yo, I, I start know. a fight. Um, do I look around? Is there anything around? There's All you what? see is whiteness and light. Cool. Um, am I wearing any clothes or am I just naked? Like, as you look down at yourself, you seem to be healed as if before you were a revenant. Cool. Maybe I'm turning 17 again. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. I don't... Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll go to you, uh, Lazarus. Was my turn. Or, yeah, yeah, never mind. Go uh, again. I, I can go again if you want me. No. Uh, Fair. Mm-hmm. You have just dodged out the way of the gelatinous cube. Give the deeds. Well, they, Fireball! They wouldn't even know he's actually dead, though, because no. he didn't move or anything. You know? <laughs> no. Yeah, but his body returns to how it used to be before Revenant. No. No, it doesn't. No. No. That's not what he said? <laughs> no. No, it returns. No. No. If might... he takes a new form, yeah. it turns back into what he was. Um, My body, like, yeah. Fireball. Fireball? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fireball. Oh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> um... So this is a cantrip. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Oh yeah. Okay. Is it? Firebolt is a cantrip. Yeah. yeah. Sixteen. 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 Firebolt. Yeah, the damage. Oh right, I gotta roll the hit. <laughs> I'm so like all over the place. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's... you hit. So sixteen damage. Yeah. You hit. Goofy boy. <laughs> <laughs> I did it the wrong way. You silly, silly little man. You see a hole burnt into the gelatinous cube, and it's burnt in close to where uh, Lazarus had actually p- tried to grab Elendil. So there's now this uh, like hole in it going about a foot deep that's just kind of smoking right now. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to back up real hard. I skipped your turn before because it should have gone Zach, then Tony, then you, then the Gelatus Cube. We didn't, we didn't skip it then. 
No, we're, we're doing it. You went Lazarus, he died, so you went to heaven. And then oh, yeah, Bruce is death saving throw. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you did it right. Yeah. The cube hasn't actually gone yet. Uh, How close are you to the cube? Well, I'm backing up. Okay. How far? I'm backing up behind him. Okay. Behind Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the scuba is going to try to. Uh, you're what? Probably 10 feet away? Yeah, I think I said I was 10 feet away. Okay, it's going to try to engulf you. It oh, doesn't. Because uh, I got a 24. Yeah, it doesn't. Ooh, nice, baby. And that's why I backed up. <laughs> got him. So you're easily able to just sidestep it as it, char- as it slurges towards you. Sidesteps and it runs into <laughs> 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 Uh, then I'll go back to you, Blaze. Okay, two rooms left. I'll go to the last room on the right. Uh, so this room is unlocked. And it's a kind of simple room. It, uh, there's a bed, a small, a very small desk, a very small closet, or it's very small wardrobe. Very small. This must be There's a, a mirror. Room. Um, normal sized bed. Must be a gnome's room. Yeah. Um, no chest in this one? Yeah, you don't see any tapestries or paintings or chests of any kind. I'll just go to the other room then. Okay. You would assume this is just a guest room. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll unlock the other room then. Okay. Uh, I'm going there. It's the bar. Yeah, the bar. Yeah, so you enter this room and you see that there's a, a bar on one side with a bunch of different different kinds of alcohol, as well as um, lots of mead or beer, wine, stuff like that. Uh, you see that there is a mantle where two swords seem to have been before, but are no longer there. Yeah. Uh, there's a table with lots of really nice chairs just to hang out on. There's a few nice, really nice looking paintings on the wall that really amplify that it's a, like as a bar or a hanging out room. Okay. Uh... And do you hear music start to play as you walk in? Oh, where's it emanating from? Uh, it seems to be from the bar itself. A magical bar. That is dope. I'm going to snag some liquor bottles. Okay. Just a few. Grab a, a bottle of vodka, a bottle of rum, a bottle of uh, rye, a bottle of scotch. Okay. Take the whole shot. <laughs> no, I'm just taking one of each kind. And then I'll take uh, is there any mix. <laughs> just fuck with you. Uh, fuck with you. Uh, yeah, there's no chest or anything else? No. Okay, then I know the swords are gone, probably assuming that those were the ones Lazarus had, so I'm gonna, gonna bounce. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll get a little dance. The music helps calm okay. me down, I think. Yeah. And I'll make my way. There's no other rooms? I don't think so. Don't think so. Only the two chests, okay. Actually, ooh! In case I miss anything, I am gonna go to the little room and check the desk. There might be something in the desk. The small room? Yeah. Okay. You never know. Uh, you just see some empty parchment and some quills. Okay. Cool. Then I guess I'll make my way back downstairs. Okay. To the main floor. Make okay. my way downtown. Walking at a leisurely pace, because I sense no danger. You know? Uh, so, Aileron, is there anything you want to do in this void? Oh, there's anything I can do. Okay. <laughs> um, Swim. <laughs> Lament. Yeah, what like, happens if I try to move? move? Like, it's just like. Yeah. Like, if I try walking forward. Just... Uh, you walk forward. Suppose seemingly on nothing. So I'm just not sure. I I guess I might just like walk forward or try to or pretend okay. to or however that may seem. I'm just gonna go forward. I guess. Yeah. So you walk forward, and you do you notice that. There seems to be more light coming from in front of you. Don't go into the light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> and then behind me, is there anything? It seems more dim, dim there. And do you see your shadow, your own shadow behind you? Uh, Spooky. This one will walk towards the light. Let's okay. see what's up. Okay. Uh. <laughs> We will actually start the next episode with that. I just want to finish this fight so that oh, that can okay. be done with. Really, all I'm picturing is just we're having the battle of our lives, and then it switches to Blaze just like <laughs> dancing his song. <laughs> <some balls. laughs> You're like three floors down. I don't hear shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Yes, Lazarus. So, like, right after I sidestep, I'll just multi-attack with my short swords. Uh, that's a 9. It hits. And a uh, 18. It hits. Big rolls. That's 9 and a 6, plus another 2d6. Uh, so, 21 altogether. Okay. <clears throat> so, how do you picture killing them? Uh, pretty much as soon as I sidestep, I have my two long sword, my short swords, and I kind of slash across his whole body, and then all ten by ten feet. Well, they're short swords; they're not, they're not like super. Okay, fucking. yeah, how far is he engulfed in there? <laughs> they're like they're like two feet long or whatever. Okay, and so like I'll slash, and then seeing that I'm doing good, I'll just keep slashing. Okay, <laughs> again and again, and yeah, again, and then and again. after that staff, it just. Uh, tumbles into just tiny, tiny pieces of it and cubes and just like jelly, and then you see Elendil just fall to, fall to the ground. Okay, I'll <laughs> drag him out of the. Group. Okay, <laughs> I'll pick up one of the little cube thingies and have it take a bite. <laughs> shove it. Uh, you can squish in my helmet, and I'll take a little bite and see how it tastes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll a Constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> oh, I did a thing. <laughs> Who was it that had the flask of... Tyler. No. Oh, Why I didn't remember I do that, that shit? 15? Okay, uh... Saving throw? Yeah, saving throw. Oh, uh... 18. Yeah, uh... You're fine, so nothing actually happens. It does not taste good. You taste some... Flesh, some metal. Like, blood-like, and also from swords that it probably consumed... It's very high in iron. So it's like jello. <laughs> okay. Well. Was there anything in the cube? It's gross. Or just him? Uh, there were a few skulls, like bones, uh, a couple of tarnished weapons, a field, a tarnished, tarnished shield. So, after I drag Elmendel out, I don't know that he's dead, so I'm going to try and feed him some of the good berries that I can make. Okay. I'm just kind of going to prop his mouth open and shove a couple <laughs> in there. You need food to live. <laughs> they give you health. That's true, I guess. Yeah, you pop them in there and they just say in his mouth. Like, um, I'm just like... <laughs> I think he's dead. I'm not giving up on him! <laughs> no, I think he's dead. I'm going to just kick his body yeah, right in the ribcage. Just limp, so it just moves. No, he's dead. <sighs> I say we bury him. Leave him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. He's literally useless now. I'll start sh- searching his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely searching my pockets. You mind telling him all that he finds? No. <laughs> A lot of gold. <laughs> no, not much in work because he spent uh, so much right. of it on his weapon. I have uh, Explorer's Pack, two great, uh, greater healing potions, the marbles, drums, the my cloak, a rocky taki, the teleportation stone, uh, some booze. Uh, nah, yeah, I have some gold, silver, copper, and then the... Uh, Bag of Mystical Marbles. Yeah, I mentioned the marbles. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to take a bunch of stuff because I don't want someone to find the body and steal them. But if you're going to bury me, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm going to go to like a loose patch of dirt area and start making a no shallow hole. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take the marbles and the uh, healing potions. Okay, Tony, we'll give them back. Don't worry. Those are my marbles, man. I need those to kill people with. <laughs> And that's where we'll leave off on this episode of the deal <laughs> Happy with endings. demons. Fuck that. <laughs> what an awful episode. Well, you can pack up your books now. <laughs>